Battle of Salamis, fought in 480 BCE, was a defining naval engagement between an alliance of Greek city-states led by Athens and Sparta and the massive invading fleet of the Persian Empire under King Xerxes I. This battle, which took place in the straits between the Greek mainland and the island of Salamis, is celebrated not only as a critical turning point in the Greco-Persian Wars, but also as a testament to strategy and courage over sheer numbers. Here's an in-depth look at the context, events, tactics, and aftermath of this pivotal encounter. Historical Context To understand the Battle of Salamis, it's essential to grasp the broader backdrop of the Greco-Persian Wars. In the early 5th century BCE, the Persian Empire, stretching from Asia Minor to Egypt and India, was one of the largest and most powerful empires in history. Greek city-states, including Athens and Sparta, were relatively small and independent entities compared to Persia, often embroiled in their own conflicts. However, when Athens supported the Ionian Greek cities in Asia Minor during their revolt against Persian rule around 499 BCE, they drew the attention and ire of the Persian Empire, setting off a series of confrontations. Darius I, the Persian king at the time, sought to punish Athens and expand Persian influence over Greece, resulting in the first Persian invasion, which ended with the Greek victory at the Battle of Marathon in 490 BCE. Ten years later, Darius's son Xerxes I renewed these ambitions with an even larger force, determined to subjugate the Greeks and establish Persian dominance. The build-up to the battle. The Persian army and navy, with numbers estimated in the hundreds of thousands and over a thousand warships, were colossal by ancient standards. After securing passage by constructing a bridge of boats over the Hellespont, the Persian forces moved down through Greece, facing limited resistance. Um, resectance. In August 480 BCE, the famed Battle of Thermopylae occurred, where a small coalition of Greeks, including 300 Spartans led by King Leonidas, held off the Persians at a narrow mountain pass for three days. Although ultimately a defeat, this heroic stand allowed time for the Greek city-states to prepare further for a decisive confrontation. Following Thermopylae, the Persians advanced southward, burning Athens and other cities that had been evacuated by their inhabitants. Greek forces, under the command of Spartan general Eurybiades and the Athenian leader Themistocles, retreated to the nearby island of Salamis. Despite differences among the Greek leaders, Themistocles argued passionately for a naval engagement in the narrow straits of Salamis, where the Greek fleet of around 370 triremes could stand a better chance against the larger Persian navy. The battle itself. The Battle of Salamis took place in late September 480 BCE. Themistocles had devised a clever strategy to lure the Persian fleet into the narrow straits where their numerical advantage would be nullified. According to the ancient historian Herodotus, Themistocles sent a deceptive message to Xerxes, claiming that the Greeks were demoralized and planning to retreat. Xerxes, eager to crush the Greek resistance, ordered his ships into the confined waters of Salamis, confident that victory was at hand. The Greek triremes were light and maneuverable, ideal for the confined space of the straits. Persian ships, on the other hand, were more, more numerous but larger and less suited to tight maneuvers. As the Persian fleet advanced into the straits, the Greeks held their position, letting the enemy fleet bottleneck and lose formation. Once the Persian ships were sufficiently packed into the narrow space, the Greeks launched a fierce attack ramming and boarding the Persian vessels with disciplined precision. The geography of the Salamis Strait played to the Greeks' strengths. Persian ships struggled to turn or escape, creating chaos in their ranks. Themistocles had also timed the engagement so that the wind and waves favored the Greeks, further hampering the Persians. Greek rowers and marines fought with skill and determination, gradually overwhelming the Persian forces. Xerxes himself, watching from a throne on the shore, witnessed his fleet fall into disarray. The battle was a disaster for the Persian navy. While, while casualty figures vary among sources, it's estimated that the Greeks lost only around 40 ships, while the Persians lost as many as 200. The destruction of a significant portion of the Persian fleet meant that Xerxes could no longer rely on sea control to support his massive land army, which was left vulnerable without logistical naval support. Key Factors in the Greek Victory Several key factors contributed to the Greek victory at Salamis. 1. Strategic Positioning 
Themistocles' strategy of using the narrow straits to neutralize the Persian advantage in numbers was critical. By forcing the battle into a confined space, he effectively leveled the playing field. Mubber 2. Greek naval expertise. The Greek triremes, manned by highly skilled rowers, were perfectly suited for the conditions in the straits. These ships were lighter, faster, and more maneuverable than their Persian counterparts, making them highly effective in the close quarters combat of Salamis. 3. Coordination and morale. Um, although the Greek alliance was composed of various city-states, often at odds with each other, they managed to cooperate effectively during the battle. The courage and resolve of the Greek sailors and marines also played a crucial role. 4. Persian overconfidence and tactical errors. Xerxes and his commanders underestimated the Greeks and, and overestimated their fleet's ability to maneuver in the tight waters of Salamis. This miscalculation cost them dearly. Let me know if you need anything else. Sure, here's the text you provided. The Aftermath and Significance The victory at Salamis marked a turning point in the Greco-Persian Wars. Although the Persian land forces remained a formidable threat, the destruction of much of their navy made it difficult for Xerxes to continue his campaign in Greece. Unable to supply his massive army effectively, Xerxes withdrew the bulk of his forces back to Asia, leaving behind a smaller contingent under his general, Mardonius, to continue the war in Greece. In 479 BCE, the Greeks achieved another major victory at the Battle of Plataea, effectively ending the Persian invasion and securing Greek independence. The twin victories at Salamis and Plataea safeguarded the political and cultural autonomy of Greece, allowing Greek civilization, particularly Athens, to flourish in the subsequent decades. This period, often called the Golden Age of Athens, saw significant advances in art, philosophy, science, and democracy with figures like Socrates, Pericles, and Sophocles leaving a lasting legacy. The Battle of Salamis has become a symbol of resistance against overwhelming odds and is celebrated as one of history's great naval engagements. For the Greeks, it underscored the power of unity and strategic ingenuity over brute strength. For Persia, it marked the beginning of the end of their expansionist ambitions in Europe, limiting their influence in the Aegean and setting the stage for future conflicts between Greece and Persia. Cultural and historical impact. Uh, beyond its immediate military and political implications, the Battle of Salamis held lasting cultural significance. The triumph became a source of pride for the Greek world, inspiring writers, poets, and historians. Aeschylus, a playwright who fought at Salamis, immortalized the battle in his play The Persians, one of the earliest works of historical drama and a unique perspective on war's human cost, seen even through the eyes of the defeated Persians. This encounter also helped shape Western perceptions of the East and the idea of freedom versus tyranny. To later generations, the victory of the Greek city-states over a vast, centralized empire like Persia became emblematic of the struggle for democratic ideals and the preservation of cultural identity against foreign domination. The Athenians, in particular, drew on the memory of Salamis to bolster civic pride and the sense of Athenian exceptionalism. The Battle of Salamis stands as a crucial moment not only in the history of Greece, but in the broader trajectory of Western civilization. It highlighted the importance of strategy, unity, and adaptability, showing that even a seemingly invincible foe could be overcome under the right circumstances. While Persia would, would continue to be a powerful force in the region, Salamis confirmed that Greece would remain independent, free to develop its unique cultural and intellectual legacy that would influence countless generations to come. Let me know if you need anything else.